The person who invented the faucet was truly a genius. How does it control both the water flow and the temperature? First, let's look at a traditional faucet with separate hot and cold handles. Its structure is extremely simple. Beneath each handle is a screw connected to a rubber washer. Let's call this the stop valve. To shut off the water, turning the handle drives the screw downward, pressing the washer against the valve seat so that no water can pass. To open the faucet, turning the handle in the opposite direction, lifts the washer off the seat, allowing water to flow out. Now, how does a single lever faucet control both flow and temperature? The principle is similarly straightforward. Under the lever sits a hollow ball with three ports, one for cold water, one for hot water, and one for mixed water. Lever turned to the right, the cold water port, upper right, opens, and the hot water port remains closed. Lever turned to the left, the hot water port, upper left, opens while the cold water port closes, lever centered. Both the hot and cold ports open simultaneously, mixing inside the ball to produce warm water.